Okay, here we go. So I decided to make a little piece of software from my pocket calculator since the information about the elevation you're scanning at in terms of altitude in the F14 is not always that great. So let's load the program. I managed to barely fit all the routines onto both sides of the magnetic card. So first load the program. And it confirms it by displaying its very elite calculator. <laughs> so, if, for example, you are yourself flying at 25,000 feet and you get a broad call for a target at 13,000 feet at a range of 25 miles, and you now want to know um, under which, wh which elevation you have to set your radar to, you just hit the C key and it will give you uh, the degrees you want to set your radar at. Well, fairly basic. Now, you might want to also know if you set this, for example, with a four bar pattern, this elevation we just got, like let's say you're in TWS plus minus 20 degrees. What is the altitude band you're actually scanning at the target's range? That one takes a while, but basically it's scanning from 21,000 to 05,000. And now we, for example, can change the range. We remember we set it to 25 miles. Now let's say, how does that look at 50 miles? Display me the elevation band we're scanning at, and again, a little bit of flushy numbers while calculating. And now the, um, the minus on the left indicates that the right number is a negative, so we are scanning between 18,000 plus and 16,000 below the surface, which is obviously not very helpful. So we might want to, um, let's say we're scanning at 50 miles, and now I want to scan between 25,000 and 0,000. I can enter that and ask it to give me the bar pattern and elevation angle. I need to scan to cover that. It will start with the smallest elevation pack, like with the smallest bar count. And now we see we have the minus again is the, to indicate that the angle we have to set the rate at, at is negative. We have to select a four bar pattern put it at 2.35 degrees downwards, and then it will give us our 25 to 0,000 at 50 miles we want to scan at. Now we can confirm that by hitting E again, and it will give us the altitude band we're scanning at. Yeah, and as we can see, it, it, it centers the elevation inside the pattern between the two uh, upper and lower limits you specified. So the minus again indicates that the lower number is like below the surface. So we're scanning between 29,000 and 04,000, minus 04,000, uh, minus 4,000, sorry. And now the last function I've built into this one is we now have it set at a um, minus 2.35 degree angle downward, and we are scanning in a four bar pattern. And now let's say we have a target at and we ourselves are flying at 25,000. And now let's say we have a target that is flying at 10,000. And now I want to know at what range will this target exit my current scan cone, because it will be under the scan cone, basically, and I can calculate this as well. And now it should give me the range, yeah, exactly, at 25.63 miles with the current scan pattern of minus two point something degrees in a full bar pattern, the target will be below my current scan zone. So yeah, that is <clears throat> what I implemented for my calculator, which is in a t fitting time frame from 1976, which will be probably sitting next to me in my F-14 pit, in my simulator cockpit on the next F-14 flight.